Welcome. Thank you for joining Consumers Dark One, Dr. Bengala. U.S. healthcare is so chaotic. I'll give you a simple example, folks. My personal experience. Recently, I was just having some neck pain. I said, okay, I'll call uh, the physician and he ordered an x-ray. The x-ray, <laughs> x-ray was being done at a satellite office from a, for a hospital. Uh, they have a satellite radiology department with an x-ray machine, CAT scan, you name it, folks. So I just went ahead a simple x-ray, folks. There's a receptionist, there's a tech who took me inside, did the x-ray, did a fabulous job, no problems, no problems. Once the x-ray is done, automatically film is sent to the doctor so for him to take a look at. The problem I have is, when I had the test, the computer spits out what the cost of the test is. It doesn't take a genius. Computer can say, okay, this is your this is the cost for you. And we'll bill insurance this much and you're responsible for this much. Does it take a rocket scientist to print a, a, a charge sheet right there and give me a copy so that way they know how much they are billing my insurance? No, it never happens. It is not even read by a radiologist, folks, but I just wanted to see simple x-ray. I didn't want it to be read by a radiologist. That's another extra charge. I'm pretty sure there is. These costs are hidden. So they build the insurance company. There's a biller involved and billing companies involved. They go and bill it. And there is a radiologist involved. Radiologists read the films and there's a cost to it. And the radiologist bills the insurance, Medicare, obviously Medicare. They skim the Medicare like, <laughs> you, you name it folks, I know. Uh, so, this is where I have an issue with insurer-driven so-called present-day traditional healthcare. Folks, they, these days are gone, man. Those, these things have to change. You can expedite, they give a cost for the service right and right there. You can even have a x-ray film read by a computer giving you a report and print out the charge sheet for me to know how much I'm responsible. 20% is obviously my responsibility. But why is it, why is it all, everything what is being built with Medicare is all hidden by the I have a supplemental, obviously supplemental will take care of my 20%, but that's, that's not the point here. We can cut down the cost of this middleman and get the report right in there with the charge sheet. I can give my debit or whatever the health savings card. I can pay my portion of it and done with it. No, I get a bill 10 days later. I don't even want to see the how much they're charging me for the that twenty percent. But they don't tell you how much they charge the Medicare, folks. This is wrong. Me being a physician, I've been in the healthcare business for forty years. I know what I'm saying, and I've read a book called Unlocking the Secrets of Health Insurance Premiums, folks by Ron Bachman. I want everyone to read it. This is where the problems are. We make it deliberately complicated. When you receive the care, when where, whatever the service is, 
print the bill, man. Just give me the bill. How much you're going to pay, uh, charge? Even I should be the one collecting the money from Medicare rather than them collecting without my knowledge. As a consumer, as a customer, I should be the one collecting and paying the whole bill. I can pay the whole bill upfront and whatever the, my, uh, the Medicare pays, why can't Medicare pay me directly? Why is it that you need to have this middleman, billers, skimming the Medicare and costs being hidden? I simply don't like it, to tell you the truth. Yes, I don't like it. That's why our healthcare costs keep rising and rising. Every service, there are middlemen, billers, managed care organizations, pharmaceuticals, same thing, pharmaceuticals. Everything has to be manipulated, hidden. And I'm in a blind. I don't even know how much my service costs are. I need to know. I really need to know because I'm the one who's paying the 20%. Folks, if you like what I'm saying, follow me. I keep exploring every weakness we have in our healthcare system. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of Consumers Doc 1, Dr. Vangala. Goodbye and God bless.